the total. You get what I'm saying? So 73 is a, is a perfect number. 37 is a good number and 110 is a good number. Do you get what I'm saying? Not every time are they gonna be 100% in your face, okay? Because people will catch on if they keep doing that. 73 is perfect. So I said, let me look up what 73 equals, right? So I looked up 73 and it equals 441. I told you I'm gonna connect it all to Trump. Just calm down and wait. Anyway, folks, like I said, if this video didn't confirm it for you, then nothing will, all right? But 37 later becomes a bad number, but don't worry about it. And look, God is pi connecting. I'm connecting the dots. Six, six, six. Do you understand what I just showed you? Look at this, will you? First of all, he named one of his children Oz, because I told you that Elvis and Trump are the wizards of Oz, you know? Battle's gonna birth the L. Birth L equals 7438-11543. Okay, folks, listen. And the reason I'm showing you this is because Elvis's backwards birthday would be December 23rd. And you have the 1122 also in that. <laughs> Who is this man? His name is Garrow, otherwise known by the subtle pseudonym Jurassic Liars. I have tried to ask him about the exact origins of this name in his livestream chat, but he didn't answer me. Suffice it to say, it's related to his low opinion on the Jewish people. I'm here to uneducate you. That's right, I want to take the Jew out of the education fuck. Because it's, it was created by the people who crucified Jesus. The same people who make your movies. The same people who make the music, same people who make the designer clothes, them, the same people who crucified Christ. I'll refer to Jurassic Liars as JL or Garrow from here on out, not for any particular reason. JL apparently goes way back in the truth community. Most of his old videos have been taken down by YouTube, so my research on this end is limited. But I'm vaguely aware that he used to do videos on fake news and did some public demonstrations against vaccines. He claims to have had thousands of viewers on his live streams back in the day, which he lost after he started his Elvis and Trump predictions refer referenced in the beginning of this video. That may very well be true, but he generally isn't known among other truthers. He naturally checks all the truther boxes on a variety of issues, such as vaccines, 9-11, whatever. He has some unorthodox beliefs about Hitler. Um, basically, he believes that Hitler conspired with the Jews to fake the Holocaust or something. He has to be vague about it on YouTube. Someone's asking me about that German chancellor dude. I don't even want to say his name. I Look, there are people in my chat who believe in this dude. I don't care what you guys say. I, I, he was a minion of Satan from the... Not, I'm not saying I believe what happened in Germany. I'm just saying that that dude is a minion of Satan and uh, and he was working for them all the, the whole time. Um, he's a flat earther, of course. I do not believe in a spinning ball hurling through an endless space. That's, that's, that's a lie. There's no planets. There's only the earth, the moon, and the sun, and they're not planets. Though JL is a flat earther, he isn't very mingled into the community. Flat earthers Alex Stein and Mark Sargent, who I keep up with sometimes, told me that they've never heard of him. But I vaguely remember insane flat earther RV Truth, who I don't know, alluding to him once in a video, but I don't really remember the context. So I think some truthers know of him, but most don't. He is also somewhat hostile to other flat earthers. Ron, Ron Skiba's burning in hell, you idiot. But he was on the live stream of Infinite Plane Radio, or IPS, on the 9th, which is interesting. IPS was close with Mad Mike Hughes, or the Flat Earth Rocket Guy, around the time of his death. Also, the best Mike Hughes video on the internet is on this channel, by the way, as is my entire interview with Mike Hughes, if, if you're interested. So, JL has been pushing two bizarre predictions for a while, at least a year. The first is that Elvis, or his number or image, will appear in Seattle on June 11th. And this will be accompanied by a catastrophic and possibly deadly event in Seattle on the same day. 
That's June 11th, as in today, or yesterday, whenever I finish this video. I've asked JL in deleted live streams if he thinks the residents of Seattle are in danger, and he says yes. He also encouraged them to evacuate the area, but acknowledges that most Seattleites do not sub to his channel. Well, look, all I'm telling you, to, look, if you know anyone who lives in Seattle, or, or uh, if you live in Seattle, get out. The second prediction that he has is that Trump will endure a head wound on August 4th of this year, and he will survive it. And the other prediction is that Trump gets a head wound, and he survives this head wound. He gets that head wound on August 4th, 8-4 most likely in Ohio. Now, these are super specific, which is unlike most doomsday slash profit predictions, but it actually isn't as specific as it sounds, which I'll expand on later. But how did Ol' Garrow arrive at these conclusions? Well, J JL is a Gematria researcher who believes he was chosen by God to reveal truth and is the unnamed person referenced in Revelations 13.18. Gematria is a system of assigning numerical values to letters, in this case the Latin alphabet of English. But there are four systems that JL uses. The first is simple ordinal, which is assigning 1 to A, 2 to B, 26 to Z, etc. Reverse ordinal assigns 1 to Z and 26 to A, and so on. And then there is full reduction, which adds the digits assigned to each number. So for example, O, which is the 15th letter, becomes six because five plus one. But for whatever reason, J and S, the 10th and 20th letters, are assigned the value one. I uh, don't know why. And reverse reduction does the same thing, but starting at Z. So A would be 26, B8 in re reverse reduction, right? I think so. All right, so JL then takes these values and adds them in a 2x2 two two matrix style, a system of gematria he claims to have invented, and I guess he might have, I don't know, um, to arrive at additional values that may be of use to him. I can't summarize these arguments or do them justice because there are so many, and I only understand about half of them, but here are some key points. I told you that 42 is a special number, right? Elvis died at the age of 42, Washington is the 42nd state. Seattle, Washington's initials, SW equals 42. S is the 19th letter. W is the 23rd letter, makes 42. Washington's original birthday was 211. Now they celebrate it on 222, but February 11th is the 42nd day of the year. And in this video, I'm going to connect Serena Williams to both these events that I'm predicting, okay? One is the Elvis Seattle event, which is going to happen around June 11th. And the other one is Trump gets his head wound on August 4th, most likely in Ohio. And you understand what I just showed you. JL has hedged a bit on these predictions. So he says that Elvis's name or number will manifest and not necessarily Elvis himself. He does this to give him some space to claim victory regardless of what happens. Or at least this is the effect that it has. Since his numerology system is so broad that he can find a relevant number anywhere. But to his credit, he has staked a lot on this and isn't making any money out of it, as far as I can tell. Last year, he said that Trump's head wound might happen too. That's August 4th, 2021. And then it didn't, obviously. But Donald Trumpka, a different person, the president of the AFL-CIO, died on August 4th or 5th, I forget. So he got really excited about that and still talks about it. Even though that's not what he predicted and Trumpka didn't die of a head wound. Uh, hopefully I can live stream on Saturday, the day this is supposed to happen, so I can see how it reacts when nothing catastrophic happens tomorrow in Seattle, or today in Seattle, whenever this video comes out. He also said that he would go on anybody's show, um, so I might try to have him on sometime in July when his Trump prediction gets closer. Although he has more viewers and subs than I do, so really he'd be giving me a platform, which isn't a great look, but it is what it is. Uh, but whatever. See you later. Hey, folks, end of video.